Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 10th through the 16th. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If this reading fits easily, then it's for you. If you are confused by the reading, then it's probably not for you. Okay. This is the vice versa tarot deck. There's stuff on both sides. So if you see something when I'm shuffling, you see the side. There's stuff on both sides. Okay. I've already cut this deck. I just cut, I'm going to cut it again in front of you. But I cut the deck before I put it on, turned on the camera for you. And we have the page of pentacles. Basically in the reverse if you want to look at it that way. Okay. There's another opportunity floating in front of you, a solid opportunity, okay? Something that is tangible, you can touch it, but you're not grabbing it. It's not in your hand. Why aren't you grabbing this new opportunity the way you should? You should, you should take it. Take it. It's like you're not answering the call, okay? Therefore, you're not treating yourself fairly. You're not allowing yourself to get what you deserve. Okay? You're not taking what is being given to you. How come? We're going to go ahead and cut this deck again because I didn't cut it on camera, but I wanted to get a general feel. This card in reverse in the traditional deck is lack of integrity. No moral backbone to do the right thing. Now, Leo is the sign, uh, you know, strength. It's strength. It's about finding that strength to do the right thing even when it hurts. And this is, the Page of Pentacles, is a person who finds the integrity to do the right thing even if it hurts. But it's like you're blocking, you're blocking a... offer a golden offer you're blocking it from coming in because you're distracted by something that really isn't practical you're distracted by the non-practical whatever it is that you're distracted by you're distracted by something that isn't, that you can't really get security from. Mm, dear son of a bitch. Oh, sorry. Uh, I can't stop myself. You know that I can't. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles, the page to the Knight. It, you know, you could be dealing with an earth sign. I don't know. But this could be anybody. Things are st they're stopped. They're halted. It's like you're at a standstill. Wherever you're at, there's no forward movement. It may feel like it's stable. And maybe a long ways down the road, maybe it will become stable. Who knows? But it looks to me like you, I mean, in this card, that you're in some desert where there's no there's no life in sight. I think you're protecting yourself. You're staying in a situation that appears to be stable. But there's loneliness in this situation. You're not, there's loneliness. I mean, he's, he's, he's lonely. He's got his horse. Yeah, he's got his horse. And the horse is loyal. The horse is definitely loyal to him. But dreaming about something else. I, I know there's something more. I know there's something more beyond this 
land that I'm in. We're going to have to keep going. Coming up with a plan, you know, he's thinking. He's taking the the night time to think about the future, to plan what what what's going to be be the most stable. So I think that you are probably planning. You're trying to come up with a plan to get out of a situation that is blocking you from a golden opportunity. <laughs> We have this offer, this gift. Begging for love. Are you begging for love, Leo? You're feeling lonely. This is lonely. This is queen of loneliness right here. And I saw it in the other card. There's loneliness. Whether you're with somebody or not. I want, please fill my cup. Please fill my cup with love. Here, it's like, that's, that's peace, that's love. Happiness, sunshine. Growth. Here, these two cups are filled. Please give it to me. But if you could only see, there is an opportunity. There is an opportunity, but you may not be seeing it. You may be in the wrong relationship right now, giving your cup of love to the wrong one. I'm just saying. Wanting more love. Not seeing that there's an opportunity down here. This is uh, the Queen of Swords, which is the independent woman. Sometimes she's hard to love. Sometimes. You're protecting yourself, absolutely, with this armor. You're seeing things, you know, clearly. It's like you don't have the armor on your head. It's like you're, you're wide open, you're wide awake. You are wide awake. It feels as though the truth is coming to you. It is about a situation. So if you're doubting yourself at this time, don't. I think you're hiding something. Because you see one leg is covered up. You're hiding something. You're hiding your true feelings about something. You don't want somebody to see? What is under there? What is it that you don't want somebody to see? The truth? We have to take it because it came out. It was there. I, do, I wasn't able to pick it up, so we're going to take it. We're just going to lay out the rest of these cards here, and then we will get right back into this. Ooh, okay, yikes, that, whoa, so, yeah, awakening, awakening, you're definitely going through some sort of awakening in regards to love, what do you deserve? What do you want? There's an opportunity for love, genuine love. A coming together that is meant to be. It's something you've been praying for. Please give this to me, please. It's around, it is, it's around for you. But right now, you're really in a situation that is discontent, thinking about 
It's like you're in a gray situation. You're in a gray area. It's really cloudy because it feels as though you can't decide which cup to pick up, which direction to go. You're deceiving yourself with this Seven of Swords. Not being practical, not being wise, trying to, trying to make a practical decision. You really are. You really, really are. You're really in your head trying to make the most practical decision for you. And whatever this decision is in regards to, it is in regards to love, it's in regards to relationship. You have to make a choice between two. You do. There's, a, there's two options here. Okay? There is. And it feels as though you're really, really, really discontent. Look at his face. Okay? He's, he's, he's very unsure of the decisions or the choices, you know, what direction do I take? I'm, I'm really confused here. Distraught. You could be dealing with a cancer because of the crab. And perhaps this cancer wants you to accept them. They're trying to climb into your cup. This cancer may be trying to get into your you know, space, you know, just please, you know, maybe he's going to start clanging or something, you know, just, just, can you see me? I'm here. But it feels as though you're thinking about your own stability, your security, maybe your money. You're thinking about maybe you're thinking about cheating. You know, this is a cheating card. Maybe you you know you're with somebody now and or maybe there is some cheating going on. Your partner could even be cheating. There's some cheating going on here. There's third party, the three of cups with the seven of swords. Okay, there's there's some cheating going on. Whether you're cheating yourself, they're cheating you, there's you know, who's cheating who? Who's cheating who? Everybody's cheating everybody? Either way, there's discontent in regards to where am I going to build my future? Do I turn my, I, I will have to turn my back on one situation to move forward, to move forward into another one, into the light. You will have to turn your back on the gloominess, on the gray area. To move forward into the light. This is about releasing. It's about forgiveness. Here with the ten of ten of wands, it's as though you're growing resent, you're growing bitter, you're growing cold. He's he's turning to cold, he's turning to stone. This is the same guy turning to stone. He's continuing to carry the load, and it's killing him. He didn't even see that that was him. Staying in a situation that is only stable, but not love will continue to grow resentful and it will continue to make you cold and bitter she's cold and bitter she is you have to be patient and you have to wait you have to prepare for
the right opportunity to present itself. And I feel like the time has come that the right opportunity has probably presented itself. But you are thinking that this is this is probably the wrong opportunity. I think you are thinking that this could lead to a loss but I don't think that's the case I think that you have an opportunity for love here that could last you have a, an offer it looks to me like you have an offer coming in that is new I think you have a new offer something you've been begging for something you've been longing for You've been longing for this true love connection, okay? And I feel like you do have a true love connection that's here for you. But you're still carrying something around with you that's killing you. You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. It's not practical. It's not wise. You need to look at it from a new perspective. You need to be open to new possibilities. You need to be open to this soulmate connection. There's still an opportunity for love in the future. If you're willing to learn the lessons, because this is a lesson, that carrying around something that doesn't serve you will kill you. You notice he's, he's here. He's turned to a statue. He, he has turned to a statue. This is him, okay? He's by himself. There isn't another person there, okay? It's not, it's not like anybody's there helping him. Two didn't become one. I mean, one didn't become two. Nobody needs to carry burdens by themselves. Here we have the Seven of Swords sneaking away. Where do I go next? Which way do I go? You may be in denial. You can see these two swords right down here in denial. The two of swords. You're blocking happiness because of pride. The five of swords is pride. You're blocking your own happiness because of pride. And that sucks. You know, you think of Leo. It is the straight, you know, it's a lion. It's pride. Your own pride is blocking you from happiness. Judgment on the end. You're afraid of judgment. You are afraid of being judged by others for the mistakes that, that you have made, for a mistake that you have made. I think that you guys have gotten yourself into some sort of pickle with the wrong one. Now you have an opportunity for new love. And that pride, that judgment from others is what's holding, it's cheating, you're cheating yourself. This is the judgment card. You're cheating yourself because of judgment. What is everybody else going to say? All the while, really unhappy. Throwing away an opportunity for love with a soulmate connection. With somebody that you really connect with. I mean, this person you connect with on a deeper level than whoever it is that you are not 
not dropping. Carry it around. Mmm. Justice. Injustice. It's justice reversed. This is so heavy. It's so heavy for you. You you may feel at times like you can't even breathe. That's what I just felt. Like you it's like it's it's so freaking heavy. It's a terrible it is. It's a terrible injustice. You're not treating you're not treating yourself fairly. This is okay. This is going right here. It's going right. That's where I was going to put it. Karma lesson. Karmic lesson. Carrying stuff that you don't need to carry around will make you, you will continue to make you colder and colder and colder until you turn to stone emotionally. Maybe you're afraid of legal issues. Maybe you're afraid to get a divorce. Whatever this is, it is definitely a karmic lesson, lesson that is preparing you for a better future. It's getting you prepared for the soulmate. Whatever situation you're in, this heaviness was a lesson that needed to be learned so that when you get to this divine connection, you're ready for it. You've gained the wisdom. But during this time, you need to come, you need to stop hiding everything. Let it out. There's nothing to hide. It's time to communicate. Rapid communication. The time is now. For you to follow your heart and have that that love that you deserve. You notice now there's there's two cups here, and this is the two of cups. Forgive yourself, release yourself from judgment. Who gives a shit? What anybody else thinks. You deserve love. It's time for you to do the right thing for you. Speak your truth right now. I think that your prayers have been heard. I do. Your prayers for true love. If you've been with a partner and they haven't been providing the love that you deserve and they have been making you cry, if you've been with a partner and they haven't been, um, they've been making you feel like this, you know, like you you want more, you're lacking. I know there's more than this. I want more than, I know. So if you've been, if you've been really sad and, and, uh, well, what's the word I use? Disgruntled or whatever. You've been upset about not being happy in your current situation. Those thoughts have been going up. They've been going up. Okay. They've been heard. They have been heard. They have been heard. The call has been heard. The call has been heard, Leo. And now you have an opportunity for a soulmate connection that could be washing away as we speak because you're wasting time carrying something around for no reason. Turning your back on yourself. Not letting the angel give you what you deserve. Not even seeing it. Letting You're going to let it die? You're going to let it fly away? Your pride 
is refusing to see this gift. Your pride is refusing to compromise. Your pride is refusing peace. Therefore, you're, you're refusing to bring harmony and peace and serenity back to your life because of pride. I'd rather prove to the world that I didn't make any mistakes. Then be happy myself. It's time for you to turn your back, Leo. Don't even look at what's behind you. Only look at what's in front of you. Stop looking at what's behind you. The past is the past. Doesn't matter what you did, the mistakes you made, any of that shit. Those were lessons. And don't think that you are the only one that has that past and doesn't learn their lessons, because they do. The ultimate strength is when you can step outside of that pride and say, you know what? I deserve love. This ain't it. You need to turn your back and focus on your future, not your past. Stop looking at what everybody else has is, is got to say. Do what's right for you. The Queen of Swords puts herself first in every situation. Put yourself first. Find your power to accept this gift that you have been wishing for. Even if you were wishing for it subconsciously. Right now, you're not being honest with yourself. I know that you're not. And pride is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Angry, if you think about a red. Red's a, I mean, red's a color of anger, typically. But, I mean, not for the wings. But, you know, you're growing more resentful and unhappy in this situation. You know... All you have to do is, is take steps forward. Face the storm. And at the end of it, there will be light. Head towards light. Leave the darkness behind. Break the walls. I just, I just heard that, that, that rhyme. I don't even know where this came from. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty. I don't even know. I don't even know the rhyme, but Humpty I just said it, the whole thing in my head, and now it's gone. It came and quit. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. <laughs> I was looking at the wall, and then I saw that. I don't know. Listen. Break the fucking wall of pride. Because it's, a, it's really about self-love. You've evolved. You're not the same person you were when whatever started, started. You're not. Now it's time to accept that. That's the fact. I'm not who I was. I've grown. the next card on the deck. I'll bring it over here so that you guys can see them. It's time to unblock the truth. It's time to accept the truth. Tell the truth. Speak the truth. There the blindfold is on. This is denial. This is... No. See? 
releasing. You see the truth. You know what you need to do. Let go of the mental turmoil and free yourself. You have to make a difficult decision, a stressful decision. And once you finally speak up, A new cycle will begin. It feels as though you have an opportunity to let the past wash away. The thoughts of the past. The negative thoughts. <laughs> you know. I've been talking a lot about, and I just saw this, I've been talking a lot about the red door and the blue door, okay? I have, I have. So, you know, the red door is the past, the blue door is the future. The red is, is the old person, the blue is new. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between the old and the new. Big decisions here, big, okay? Two, two, two. Two is about choices and decisions. The justice card is about decision as well, okay? So two, 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 faith and trust. It's also a soulmate connection. You have a new soulmate connection that is divinely guided. You have an opportunity to begin a new foundation with somebody that you really, really, really connect with. This is a deep soulmate connection. And I'm going to tell you this. This is not the red door. This is not... the person that is bringing imbalance and disharmony and trouble and storms and discontent and worry into your life. It's not that person. It's not. This is somebody new. This is somebody new. Okay? This is somebody that it's, it's not who you think it is. You're going to have to leave somebody behind and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You're going to have to leave somebody behind. And I know you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it heavily. This card. I tried to get rid of it. I just shuffled and shuffled. This card was on the top. I looked down and I shuffled in that son of a gun. is still here. You can't get rid of it. I, this is crazy shit right here. <sighs> That's it right there. <sighs> that was it. This is too much. It's too heavy. It's too worrisome. Let those worries fly away like I said wash away it's time to let go of that worrisome situation that you are hanging on to because of pride this is the nine of swords close that door to pride until you do you're going to continue to have lack of harmony harmony lack of peace lack of balance in your life and you're going to grow colder and colder and more resentful that as you stay in it. I think the only reason some of you are staying in whatever situation that you're staying is is because it's safe. It's safe. You'd be better off alone and abundant than living in a situation where there is this much worry and discontent. Living with regrets. Maybe you decide, you know what, now is the time for me to work on me. 
work on my independence, my self-love, my self-respect. Because it feels as though you may not want, you may have not wanted to be held accountable for the actions that you have taken. Maybe you acted impulsively and gotten into a relationship thinking that You know, I'll take this risk, but it didn't work out. And now you have this new opportunity that is a soulmate connection looking at you and you need to cut somebody out. That's what this is. You need to stop worrying about what everybody's going to say. And that is the truth. Traditional. Trying to take the, the traditional approach. Trying to do things the traditional way. Why don't you try listening to your inner guide and believing in yourself and following your own path. Follow your own path. Maybe it's time to deepen your spiritual practice and really trust yourself. Choose faith and trust. This is a card of faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You get to this point of being abundant. This is a single woman. This is a single woman. Could be man, whatever. You get to this point where you, you bring balance back to your life. You bring security to your life. You take care of business on your own. You prepare for that perfect opportunity to arrive. You're happily preparing. It's like, I'm good. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait for that perfect opportunity to arrive. And the perfect opportunity comes flying on in. I mean, for some of you. Either way, for those of you that have gotten to this point of perfect singlehood, ultimate self-respect, not letting pride get in the way. I'm strong enough to take care of myself. Thank you very much. I don't need to have you come in here and bring me down. I know what I'm worth and I will wait for what I'm worth and I'm not going to deal with a joker. I realize that the perfect opportunity is will come when the time with the divine in divine timing but i think that you guys have invested your energy into a situation that was probably acted upon impulsively and now you've got a karmic lesson you're going through okay impulsive actions usually don't end well and i feel as though now you have to make a choice between two paths do you stay do you stay where you're at, where there's a lot of discontent and disharmony? Or do you move forward into a major new beginning on your own? I mean, do you do that? Because there's an opportunity for you to step over the finish line and, and start a brand new chapter in your life. You know, it's when you end one phase and you begin another something that you have been dealing with long term, maybe even nine years, you may be, or maybe nine months. I feel as though you have been dealing with a situation, could be nine months, nine years, that, you know, is, is ready to be closed, okay? Nine, nine. And it, today's the ninth. So I might as well say nine, nine, nine. There's closure that needs to happen in, in some sort of relationship that you're in that is way less than fulfilling. And you have another opportunity that is beautiful beautiful i mean look at their hands look at them look at it's meant to be it's a divine connection it's like you guys feel each other in a in a different way and this is not somebody that you have been with for a period of time this is somebody new maybe you met this person two weeks ago or two months ago 
okay? That's how, that's how new it is. It's not somebody that you met six months ago or is this is brand new. I know that it is. There's a brand new love connection that is undeniable. And you're being called to take a risk. Let go of the past. Don't bring the past with you. It's divinely guided from the heavens. That's what a comma is. Heaven, your prayers have been answered. Even if you didn't, you didn't say those prayers out loud. They feel you. They hear you. Why would you let this be washed away because of pride? It's time to make a conscious change. To step over that finish line and take a risk on your future. Free-spirited. There ain't no pride here. Let your spirit soar. Come on now. It's gotten you in trouble before, hasn't it? <laughs> it's impulsive. I mean, he is impulsive, okay? So, you know, I feel like this is a time for you to stop deceiving yourself. Speak your truth. It's time for you to be happy. And it looks like happiness is here if you can only see it. And don't let it, don't let it be thrown away. Be authentic and be yourself. Two, two, two. Doesn't matter what anybody else says. Nobody. The only person that matters in this situation is you. Perhaps your children, right? Your children matter. Wake up. Wake up. That judgment is a wake up call. You have you have been presented with a love connection that is divinely guided. Please don't throw it away. Please don't throw it away because of your pride. Oh, faith and trust. We talked about this. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust that this is divinely guided. My advice to you, Leo, is go with the new. Please go with the new. And, it, you know, I don't care what you do. But it's for your own good. You have an opportunity for a major new beginning here. If you can accept that this was a karmic lesson. Karmic lesson. Whatever you had to go through, you had to go through. It has to do with pride. And that would be your karmic lesson, Leo. Pride, it would be. Don't let pride inhibit your happiness. Because eventually, you'll die lonely. Talk to you later. Being with the wrong partner brings loneliness.